Just, 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 the beast. just step away and look at that. <laughs> it's just so cool. Today we're introing uh, the RC51 that I used to own that he bought for me because like we said before, we like to keep things in the family. Yeah, and so uh, it's super cool. So it's, I'm actually really happy that this worked out because uh, I really didn't want to get rid of this bike, but I really wanted a Panigale. So we're going to show you this bike. I'm going to hand the camera off to Indy and we're yep. going to... Because this guy had it for longer and rode it more than I did. So. Yes. So uh was back into riding and had taken a little bit of a break and uh coming off the sv650 i was just kind of like you know what i'm i'm ready to move on to something bigger had an rc51 in college loved it i'm a twin guy i like v twins and so i started shopping and this one popped up on craigslist and was listed for a surprisingly reasonable price um and i already had the work done to it i, I think the guy he just owned it for a really long time and he felt like the mileage didn't warrant uh, a high price even though it didn't have a lot of miles i got it in 2018 with uh 18 000 and change it was like 18.3 just not high mileage especially for a honda it's like 27 dude yeah this no like, it wasn't like 18 it was like 27 000. no this flip, thing had 18. flip the key no dude it has like 22 now i don't remember i barely ride it <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. It has 22,454 right now. Yeah, see? So it had 18,3 when I got it. He's lying. Stupid. <laughs> but this is an 05. It's the last uh, color scheme, 05, 06. And that was also, because, yeah, it's the best color scheme. Well, the best because of the wing. Oh, yeah. That's how you knew because it was an 05 specific. Yeah, the, the, um, in my opinion, this is the best color scheme for the uh, RC51. You get that just awesome metallic right there. Very metallic. Yeah. Very, very. And like I said, this wing is inverted in color. The other ones are silver wing with a black outline. Mm -hmm. Or almost silver wing, I can't remember. Either one, the inverted one's much better. Yeah, I like this, this a lot. So what came on the bike when I got it, it was on stock pipes. Um, the previous owner had owned it for like 10 years. Like he had it for a really long time. He just wanted to get rid of it because he had gotten a brand new 1000 RR. And so he just wanted to cover his down payment. So got it, got it for cash. Um, but it came with these ASV shorty levers up front, a manual radiator fan switch, which I found to be incredibly Fantastic. useful. Incredibly useful. Amazing on a bike when like you're this. riding. Uh, these Sato uh, frame sliders, which you can see have been crazy sun faded. Uh, matching Sato rear sets, which are fantastic rear sets. I love Sato rear sets. They look so good. And the fact that the, the heel guard looks like the wing that's on the side is really oh, cool. Oh, it's so cool. It's just such like a perfect rear set for a Honda. It is. Um, the bike also came with, what did it also come with? It came with- Turn signals. Came with the flush mount turn signals. Those are like the Proto or whatever. Right. right, Proton or whatever, 500 uh, something. Yeah, the front uh, spools, and the rear. spools, and the rear, as well as swing arm spools. Swing arm spools. So those are sliders. We've got this. Um, these are all. These all came with the bike. This awesome undertail, which I actually don't know the name of. We tried um, to find it. We couldn't. Yeah, find they it. have. They have like generic ones on eBay, but they're not brand name. I actually think this is the best looking undertail that retains the Stone OEM lights. tail light because yeah. it's nice and smooth, but just it like everything builds in perfectly. There's this uh, undertail, it had a, usually the license plate will be mounted about here, but what I do like is that this guy plugged it up here where it normally mounts and ended up mounting it down low, which is awesome, just super low profile. Very low profile. And uh, otherwise- Header heat wrap. The headers were heat wrapped, and I believe that was it. What about the, doesn't this have the like, uh, inserts for the front? Yes, it has radiator ducts. Yes. It, yes, it also had radiator ducts, Did which you can see right there, they're, they're uh, right carbon Kevlar, yep. which also help with airflow. This, so this RC And the fans, I believe, are reverse mount? They are reverse mounted fans, yes. So it's got a lot of cooling mods. So this RC actually runs a lot cooler than my old one did. 
my old one was, uh, I would say consistently ran about 10 degrees hotter. And I also had the ability to flip the fans on earlier. I feel like the thermostat doesn't flip the fans on early enough. On it gets really hot. Ones. Yeah. Um, otherwise, in my possession, uh, before I sold it to Indy, I put some uh, carbon bar ends on it. I put, which, you know, the They're reason bars. I replaced them was because one of the OEM bar ends fell out and I was like, I just got to put it on. <laughs> uh, put a stomp grip, RC51 specific, but mounted upside down because it's actually the better way to mount a stomp grip on, a, on an RC51, surprisingly. <laughs> um, and then I got some Danmoto GP pipes. These are Which not one? the pipes, but we still have them. So the GP oh, pipes, yeah. they look a lot like the Ladybirds. Um, but since Andy got them, he got these, uh, what are these, the XR1s? XG1. XG1. Also made by Danmoto. Slash cut, twin style. Stuff I like. Both both slip-on exhausts, we got um, our, our uh, dual exit. Oh, and I also got a... Uh, EK 525 chain. Replace the 525 chain. We will be doing a video in the future on um, how the bike has been doing up to uh, 22,500 miles. Um, I thought you were trying to say 2020 and I was like, 22, what are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> and we'll also compare this to the Panigale, which is the bike that I replaced. This is better. With. So the story why we decided to keep the bike in the family was because I really, I've just been wanting a Panigale for the longest time because I've wanted a Ducati for the longest time, have never owned one. But in my opinion, you don't come across a bike like this for, especially for the price that I got it for with the work done to it. It, it, would not, it wouldn't happen twice in your life. No. And so um, Indy didn't have a big bike yet. And- uh, the, the, the funny part about that was, is I was looking for like a 400, like a 300, 400. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, I don't know, man. It's a leader bike. Like, no, you'll be fine. Okay. Well, I didn't say that because that's dangerous and reckless. No, that's exactly what, what I did say <laughs> was don't ride it until you take MSF and that is not don't what you said it. at all. That is not what you said. Absolutely. At all. You said you'll be I fine. Said. No, I didn't. In fairness, I'm fine. No, I literally didn't because that's, did. that's literally he's lying. Don't that's worry reckless about it. and a dick move. I literally did not do that. I yeah, said, I said, you have to take MSF no. before you ride it. He's lying. That's such BS, dude. He's lying. That's such BS. No, it's not. I'm, I not, the never I'm not the liar in this I would never. I would never recommend anyone ride a bike that's Look, let's be real. Who has real parts? Who has fake parts? Who do you really trust? Hubba hubba, who do you trust? <laughs> money, money, money. Exactly. You know what that's from? No. It's from Batman, dude. Which one? The first one. Oh, it's been so long since I've With, seen With uh, Jack Nicholson. Yeah, it's been so long since I've seen that. Yeah. I think I just bought it recently, too. Otherwise, the bike's been fantastic. We'll do a little. Uh, we'll do a comparison. We'll do some videos on it. We'll do some sound clips, and um, of many exhausts because we have, we have the stock pipes still too. Yeah, we have the stock pipes. Which I mean, I don't think anyone cares about the sound clip on the stock pipe. But right. the great thing about this exhaust slip-on exhaust setup it is it literally minutes. takes. It's so quick. Five minutes to swap it. It's so quick. It's literally just bop, bop, and then you put the swap. other one. Yep. Literally four bolts. But uh, yeah, let me take that camera back. All right, great. You take that back. So that's the intro to the RC51. Let us know what you think about it's better RC51s. Than the Ducatis. I think it's far more iconic than a Panigale. Um, I think that it's a Duke killer. Well, <laughs> at the level at the level of of performance that these bikes have, uh, you have to be like a 95th percentile rider to be able to discern a difference between an RC51 and a Panigale. Well, you know the funny part about that too is the people with the SP1s argue the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Be doing an SP1 and SP2. Yeah, but also at the same yeah. time, the SP2, they've said the SP2 is what the bike was supposed to be. The SP1 was rushed. The SP2 was the, the AMA Superbike version. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a great bike. We'll, we'll compare it to the Panigale. Uh -huh. It's iconic. It's very cool. We love it. We're happy we get to keep it in the family. Yeah. And uh, let us know what you think down in the comments. Let us know if you have an RC51 or if you're looking for one. And uh, if you like the video, please make sure to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. And, and we'll see you in the next one. We appreciate you guys.